Hi friends, it's story time and today we are going to read My Neighbors and Their Simple Machines. This is a book about the, the simple machines that our neighbors use and this is a, a, a book about the study that we are doing to simple machines. This book was written by Erin C. Creeps and Heather Baker. Hi, my name is Hema and I live in an apartment building in the city. I love living in my building because I get to visit all my interesting neighbors. Let's see what they are doing today. That's Mr. Salgado, who is here to clean the windows on the outside of our building. He uses a seat on a rope to reach them. Mr. Salgado uses a pulley to raise and lower his seat. And this is a pulley. A pulley is a type of simple machine that uses a rope and a small wheel to help raise and lower things. The pulley helps Mr. Salgado move up and down the outside of the building. Pulling down on the rope makes it easier to lift something heavy. Sometimes pulleys have more than one wheel. The more wheels a pulley has, the easier it is to lift things. So you see this pulley? If you pull this rope like this, it's easier to lift something that you can put here. And Mr. Salgado, he is using a pulley so we can pull the rope and go higher. And it's easier. He doesn't have to make so much strength, so much force. Hmm, I smell something good baking down the hole. Mrs. D'Angelo is baking fresh bread again. I stop by her apartment and she offers me a big slice. Yump! Mrs. D'Angelo uses a knife to slice the fresh bread that she baked. You see, this is Mrs. D'Angelo and she bakes her bread and then she cuts a slice with a knife and the knife is a simple machine named wedge wedge a knife is a wedge which is a type of simple machine that splits things apart wedges are shaped like triangles wedges can be big like an x or they can be small like the tip of a nail teeth door stops and forks are also examples of wedges. They, they are like a V, like a triangle, and they go in the bread, you see, and it's easier to cut the bread like this, because they have a wedge. My mom, my mom and I are visiting with our neighbor, Mrs. Howard, and her son, Trudell. Trudell and I want to play with these toy cars, but the wheel and axle is broken on one of them. And here we have the book explaining us what is the wheel and the axle. And we can see here the wheel. And we can see this stick here, it's called the axle. A wheel and axle is a type of simple machine that helps move things like cars, wagons and wheelbarrows. The axle goes through the middle of the wheel and the wheel and axle turn together to move things. A wheelbarrow has one wheel and axle, but a tractor trailer, a trailer can have as many as nine axles and 18 wheels. You see the wheel and the axle. Cars have wheels and axles. 
Instead of playing with toy cars, Trudel and I decided to make paper snowflakes out of colorful paper. We first fold the paper and then cut out small shapes using scissors. Scissors are a type of lever, which is a simple machine. You see, this is a lever. A lever is a rod or a bar that pivots at a point called the fulcrum. This is the point that we call fulcrum. The fulcrum can be in the middle of the lever or at the end of the lever. Scissors are made of two levers with a fulcrum that joins them together in the middle. So you see here the scissor has one lever, two levers, and they have a fulcrum here in the middle of both levers. And that fulcrum makes the scissor work with both leather levers together. That's what helps us to cut the paper. Later on, I meet my friend Jack down at the playground behind our apartment building. My favorite thing at the playground is the seesaw. Jack loves it too. You see, this is a seesaw. And Jack is now playing on the seesaw. And a seesaw is a lever. A lever. The ends of the seesaw move up and down because they are another type of lever. One that has a fulcrum in the middle. And this is the middle. This is the fulcrum. When the weight on both sides of the lever is the same, the lever stays level or is balanced. When more weight is put on one side, that side goes down and the other side goes up. A balance scale is an another example of this type of lever. Well, on my way back inside, I meet Miss Jacqueline. She's moving into our building today. She has a lot of boxes to move. Miss Jacqueline moves her boxes off of the moving truck by walking them down the ramp. Here we see the ramp. See the ramp? If she couldn't use the ramp to unload her boxes, she would have to climb in and out of the truck with every box. That would take a long time. And you see this ramp is an inclined plane. Inclined plane. A ramp is a type of simple machine called an inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat surface that is higher on one end. There are different types of inclined planes. Ramps, ladders, and playground slides are all examples of inclined planes. Mr. Perron is the handyman in our building. He stops by to fix the knob on our door. That's what handymans do. They, they fix things in the buildings. I ask if I can help too. Mr. Perron uses a screwdriver to put new door knob on our door and uses screws to hold it in place. So this is the screwdriver. And this is the screw. The screwdriver drives the screw. A screw is a type of simple machine that is used to hold things together. Screws have threads around them that keep them securely in place. You see, these are the threads of the screw and they help to fix things securely. The top of a screw is called the head. You see, this part is the top of the screw. And it's called head. A screwdriver fits perfectly into the notch on the head of a screw. So you can turn it and tighten it into place. 
Oh, and we have here another kind of screw with these threads. A lamp has a screw on it. That evening, I noticed my lamp needs a new light bulb. So my dad and I can read my bedtime stories. I ask my dad to replace the light bulb for me. My dad takes out the old light bulb and screws in a new one. You see, her dad is screwing the new lamp. Now we have enough light to read my bedtime stories. See, the dad is screwing the lamp with his hand. And this is the part of the screw. A light bulb has a screw on one end that holds it in place. Instead of using a screwdriver, this type of screw is screwed in by turning it with your end. Bottle tops, jar lids and toothpaste caps are examples of screws because we can screw them. Very good. Now, it's fun to live in my building. I get to see my neighbors every day. They do lots of interesting things and sometimes I get to help. And you know, for today, my question for you is this one. What are your simple machines? Do you have simple machines? Tell me, what are your simple machines? Or what simple machines did you see today? Did you see simple machines today? Told me a little bit about the simple machines you saw today. And this is the end of our read aloud for today. And I'll see you tomorrow, my friend. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow for another book, okay?